Back to the uh, top of the telescope story, Musgrave and Jeff Hoffman again to install some fabricated uh, insulation boxes over the old uh, magnetic sensing systems as the orbiter moves up the northwest coast of Australia. And Kyle, those two gentlemen on the end of that arm are having the view of their lives right now, looking over the top of the scope down at the Earth. You heard Story even remark about it. Uh, I can tell you this is this is probably a moment they'll remember uh, for many, 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 many years to come. Here comes one. Okay, I'll take the needle nose flyers, Caddy. Here's a. And we have got an unbelievable picture from the elbow camera right now. For folks on the ground right now, the view is looking uh, basically westward as the orbiter moves east. And uh, we're coming up uh, on Australia. It's just coming into view right now. the uh, small peninsula just off to the uh, upper left shoulder of uh, Jeff Hoffman is the Northwest Cape on the west coast of Australia as uh, and the island is uh, Barrow Island as we move eastward uh, across the northwest coast and only once before that uh Folks can remember as the orbiter flown at this altitude, 320 nautical miles, and that was uh, in April of 1990 when the uh, STS-31 crew deployed the Hubble Space Telescope. And the, uh, Kyle, the shiny area on the water off the coast is the reflection of the sun on the surface of the water, and that is uh, what we call a sun glint pattern. And in sun glints, when we uh, view the Earth 
uh, uh, the surface of the Earth and Sun Glen, particularly over the oceans. There are usual uh, uh, quite interesting patterns and features we can see in the ocean. Uh, some of those patterns, uh, for example, are internal waves, that is, waves below the surface of, of the ocean. It's quite remarkable to see.